Good evening everyone, it is a cold, cold evening today and we are here again to interview again the speaker for this evening which is Niño Año Nuevo and the student which is Jonas. How are you today? Um, I feel good. <laughs> I want to congratulate you for that important message that you have given us a while ago. But what about you? How are you today? Uh, I feel blessed for the, from the message. Okay, thank you for accepting the invitation to come here to this short interview. We are with a COE classmate, COE students that will be asking you important questions about this day at the week of prayer. So welcome all of you and you are with my classmates. Hello, good evening, brother Nino. I am Kyla Jonathrono, the interviewer for to tonight. And I am with Rhea May Salapare. So for the qu first question, please tell me about your preparations for the year's week of prayer and have you experienced any challenges throughout your preparations? Oh, that is a very good question. Actually, it is, it is my preparation. Uh, I, I am not living in campus. I'm off campus. I live in Binyan, Laguna. It is almost 20 kilometers from here. So I traveled every day. No, you know, every day, almost in the morning, I travel at least 30, 30 to 40 minutes, go to AUP, and in the, in the afternoon, after my class, I travel almost an hour because of the traffic. So I prepare myself, especially my, the physical. I tended to, to sleep early, wow. <laughs> uh, eat good foods as, as long as possible. And some challenges that I've experienced is, uh, yes, that's it, the, the travel and you know, guys. You know, I'm a Filipino. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not really a English speaking or English preacher. So it, it challenged me to speak in English in front, especially. So it challenged me to do the manuscript. This is one of the preparation. Do the manuscript. We we have a lot of run throughs or rehearsals just to deliver this message uh, for good. And yeah, that's it. I challenged very well, but I think. I, st I still need to praise God and thank God because without 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 God, I can I, I think I can do it. So indeed, praise God because I think God uh, make you an instrument in His ministry, and I am so blessed. So given with that uh, reason, we can see that um, God speak through you. So um, for the next question, Rhea. Okay, so happy midweek, brother John Hus. So I uh, re the message earlier is I'm I'm blessed right because there's a lot of um, realizations that we have that because it's about um, hope right what is the solution so for you brother Jonas what values did you learn from the message this afternoon? Yeah. There are two very important things that I have learned. First is the the value of acceptance. Uh, Kuya Nino was very particular on that area wherein it isn't God that has placed uh, the hardship and problem in this world, but it was Satan. So it's very important to accept things. The second realization that I had was focusing on the solution. And, the, uh, and Kuya Nino was very, uh, in his explanation, he was very particular on that. Especially the part that everything that was taken away from us, everything that was uh, taken and was separated from us, God can restore. And that is the hope that I have learned and the value of focusing on that hope that God only can provide. Yes, amen for that. And also, I have that one thing that I've learned to the message earlier that even Jesus received betrayals, mm -hmm. negative things in this world. He still, uh, he never leaves us. And also, he really loves us as, as if we are sinners, but still, God um, accepts us from who we are now. Now, going on to our last question, describe the effects of your topic on the students' lives. Since um, the AUP students are your target audience, what do you think is the importance of listening and um, like applying the lessons that they have heard from your topic? That was a very deep, but a very good question. Actually, first, I would like to emphasize what is the experience or what are what is the reflection on me by this message actually as i preparing this message um in, it encouraged me to you know to walk toward jesus more closely as as, as possible 
as possible, I need to accept him every day or daily. You know, I see a lot of people here in AUP in this campus. The, many people, many many students are rich. Uh, they they live what they want to live. They have what they want. You know, they have things. They, they have what they need. But the thing is that there is lacking something, mm -hmm. which is they need all all the things is will put them to an end. Eh. But the thing is, Jesus will replace those those things na we've known that in the end it, it, it comes to destruction but Jesus feels the emptiness even though you are rich even though you have a lot of monies but without Jesus you will feel empty but I hope and pray that all the students here recognize that Jesus is the answer to all Jesus is the only is the only answer to their problems and Jesus will feel the emptiness in their lives Amen. Yes, and I just want to focus on one of the sentences that I uh, I read late, uh, last time on your uh, topic discussion, and it says, It is not our task to cover our sins. It is our task to surrender them to God. It is so. I'm so grateful to know that um, God has given us a gift of hope, right? Okay, for the next question. For the last question for you, Brother Jonas, um, why do you think this topic is relevant for you as a student or as a theology student? Wow, as a theology <laughs> student. I would like to first go back at that part in the illustration of Kuya Nino during the apron. You have to forgive me, Kuya Nino. I really imagined you when you turned your back. <laughs> I was able to imagine. But that is the reality of it. Sometimes we may try to cover um, the sins that we have done through the reputation that we have, through the diplomas that we have, through the things that we have reached. But at the end of the day, we really cannot be righteous on, on ourselves. And that is the beauty of it. Now, even though we, uh, we can cover everything, uh, all ourselves with the accomplishments that we have, the things that we have uh, reached, at the end of the day, it is only through God and only through His grace that can, we can be saved. Amen. For, um, I think the solution for me, based on, the, for, based, based on the message earlier, that we really need to surrender all our, our sins, our lives, right? Because at first, Jesus first loved us, right? The, and also, He never leaves us, no matter how, how difficult we are experiencing and also how struggles and, and other obstacles that we are facing, God is still there for us to, um, to welcome us with open arms, right? And we just need to surrender all ourselves. Yeah. Well, that concludes that. He is the author of love. He is gracious and merciful. So um, thank you so much for accepting our invitation for this interview. Again, th that is the end of our interview for today's session. Thank you so much and happy, happy prayer midweek.